That's an order. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> of course, you have to make up. No, uh, come on. You see, um, God willing, you know, child is celebrating. Okay. Uh, sit down now. Oh, no, no. I'm, I'm in a haste, actually. I've got to rush. Okay. I've solved my report. All right, here. Yeah. Hmm. Combustion! <laughs> see ya! <laughs> hey, let's never start your record. Can I see it? <laughs> oh, hey, at the rate you and this guy is going, that's what I don't understand. What well, don't you understand? He has been my friend since ages. We're in the same faculty. There's nothing to all this. Why are you screaming? <laughs> Just a friend, and he bought it to street. <laughs> Hello, girlfriend. It's not every relationship that must end in sex. Come on, think. He has feelings for you. Oh, you're the only one seeing it. Abby, you, you've you told his spokesman. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. 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 Paul, I was with the agents today over the new apartment. I don't know why they are wasting time. They've not even found one yet. Come on, Patrick. Why are you bothering yourself about this apartment issue? My uncle is hardly at home and he's not complaining. So, what did she say when you gave her the gift? Ah, you need to see what this babe did. She hugged me, she kissed me. Oh my God, she, she refused to let me go. Patrick, I told you, there's no need for you to hide your feelings from her. Not she anymore. even wept on my shoulder. Oh my God. The girl wept. Uh, really? She said she was going to redo her birthday since I was not around really? the first time. Yes. Then that girl is down for you. Oh, before God. She's been dying for me. See? Hey, oh boy. <laughs> Man, no need to waste time. Oh. See? Man. <laughs> hey, Pato. Man, that's serious. Let's get down and, I mean, one of these days you bring her over and let me see her. She's the one begging me to come here and spend weekend with us. But you know, it's not it now since we're over yeah, here. Yeah, sure. So, you know, I'm the one saying no. Patrick, oh, come on, the real man. Patrick, oh, no, 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 man. hey, man, let's go and eat. No, let's go and eat. No, man. Hey, no, what are you talking no, about? No, no, no.
I darling. Oh man, what do you think you're doing? What if my superiors had just walked in to see you do this? I'm sorry. I was just saying hello and that I missed you. I didn't get to see you all through the weekend. So what? Couldn't you have called before coming into this office? Yeah. Why are you being so hostile? I'm not being hostile. I'm a copper and I'm under rules. I know. Look, 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 look. I don't like people badging in on my office because I have an explanation to make to my superiors hey, if they catch I me here. I said I was sorry. I hardly see you and you know my being a banker, I hardly have the time to see you except during the weekend. So how come you're here now? Why are you questioning me like this? Anyway, I was sent on an assignment to our regional office, so I decided to branch by and say hello to you. That's not a crime, is it? You know our home most weekend. Why? Well, I travel during weekends to see my folks. Um, well, let's see. Like you can see, I, I am really very busy and maybe I'll see you later. Yeah, that's what you always say, but I never get to see you. You know, I am a copper. And I must have to walk under the rules or else they won't retain me here after the service. Okay. I said I was sorry, okay? Look, I'm not going to badge in on you like this next time again. I'll call you before I come, all right? Besides, sweetheart, you know, I'll never do anything to jeopardize your future. You know that. I'm sorry, please. Anyway, I got something for you. I hope you like it. Thanks. I would um I'll call you later in the evening then. Okay. Aren't you going to see me? Um well you know you see I'm very busy, like I told you. Um next time or better still, I'll come to your office and we'll go home together. Serious? <laughs> I mean, you promise? With all my heart. Okay. I'll let you be now. Have a nice day. Paul! Oh! Have a nice all day. Alright, bye. 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 Oh, why won't this girl leave me alone? Why is this being caught in my life, man? Come on, Patrick. You know this girl, she always makes our special time for you. She loves you. Look, I'm in love with someone else. Look, I want to settle down with Mary. She is in my life. And look, 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 we're gonna get married soon. Who know this? Mary? Who know this? Yes. Mary that has never visited us in the house. Mary, who has never, I mean, drove by in this office, she has never even bought you a gift. Does it really matter? What matters is understanding between two people. Look, Mary and I will soon get married. We're just waiting for time. Um, it's okay. Uh, can I see the gift that she brought? <laughs> Open it. This is expensive. Mm, like how much will I get if I decide to sell that one? Are you out of your mind? You want to sell the gift that someone who loves you gave to you? I what beg, are you talking about? I beg, Paul. Look, 
What is the worth of this watch? That's what I asked. About 13,000? Give me 10 and take it. Patrick, this is not fair. This is not fair. You can't do this. Look, I have to get Mary something for the weekend. Give me 10 and take this. It's a lie, man. It's a lie. Man, it's a lie. God, look at you. Daniel, what are you doing in this town? It's unbelievable. Daniel, hey, see Patrick. Man, don't look at me, man. As you can see, I'm on service. Eh? Man, where have you been? Man, after service, eh, I just traveled out to Germany. I came back last year to establish one small business here. Man, you're a big boy. I live all those things. I live all those things. I'm from the one now. Jesus How you Christ. Doing that? I do. Are you, you must be married now. Uh, no, 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 I'm still searching. <laughs> you told you, well, that means a lot of us. I think it's a good thing I saw you. Look, I'm putting a get together in my house tomorrow, and I want you to come, please. Fine! You know? Just give me your card, man. I will, Look, I will, I will. Leave the rest for me. I will, I will. I will. Nice the babes. Exactly what I want Just to do. Just let me have your card. Okay? Cool. Enough babes, though. Enough, Enough babes. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you my card, eh, so that, uh, okay. so that, uh, you... look, man. You have to come to my office tomorrow. No, 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 the rest are short. Hey! You have to come to my office tomorrow. Danny, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> so you've been in this town? Hi! Eh? Well, we'll see, we'll Sha. Hey, just let me just stand up, man. Okay, okay. I'm not for this, man. I'll go just. Okay. Man, we'll go see a bed. Please try Danny. and come to my office tomorrow. No, for you. But go! We'll go see, eh? Patrick, this is where you're bombarding me with gifts. Even my boyfriend have not been this girl. Well, you know, you and I happen to be the only people that um, were in our school seven here. So, from time to time, once in a while, I feel like making you feel at home. So, how was our uh, community development? Boring. <laughs> Very boring. Um, Mary, you said something about your boyfriend. Who is he and where is he? Don't you remember the guy I normally work with in school? You mean Celeste? Oh, no. Uh -huh. Although we broke up after we graduated and I haven't heard from him since then. And now my parents are organizing one man for me to marry. God forbid. Of course I did not agree. My oh, better. Good. Well, there's this party a friend of mine is organizing, and uh, I'd like you to be there. You know me, I don't like attending parties. No, Mary, this one is going to be interesting. Interesting? And um, actually, he was a student of ours, but a friend of mine. That's yes, right. Yeah. Well, graduated quite, uh, you know, before us. <laughs> um, he's organizing it, and I'm one of the organizers. Okay, fine. When, it, when is the party holding? This weekend. This weekend? Yes. I'll come around to pick you. And I will visit Oh, of course. Trust me. Send one. Trust oh. me, you know. Uh, let me Hi. go on there. Uh. Let me okay. go along. I'm prepared, you know. Thanks for that. Oh, my thanks, huh? Okay. Here yeah. Help me out. I don't know what to do from here. 
What are you talking about? It is to Mary. She almost got married and I didn't even know. And so? What do you mean and so? This is a lady I'm in love with. This is my life and my love story. And the parents are pressurizing her to get married. Oh, listen, Mary. Patrick. See, you know the way to this game. I mean, call her, talk to her, tell her something really sweet. Propose to her and probably engage her. Man, I can't do that now. It's very risky. Man, I have nothing. And even when I finish seven, I don't even know whether and if I'll get a job. This is Nigeria. Besides, Mary doesn't strike me as a lady that wants a man that is not settled yet. Then switch over to Lucy. I don't have your love in mind. I don't have any feelings for her. Did I hear you say that? Yes. But you went for her. You slept with her. And you do take money from her. Huh? Look, she's working and that was just a fling. Uh, uh, look, mom, advise me before Mary slips out of my hands. Who is it? Who is that? <laughs> Lucy. Lucy. Patrick, are you in there? What if I'm here and Mary just come out and I just meet him? She's here with this. I can't see. Are you You're welcome, eh? Yeah, this is Mary. Mary? Yeah. And this is Jane. Jane. Oh, Jane. Oh, no. It's Sandra. Sandra. And this is Paul. Yeah. Paul, right. you're welcome. Nice you're welcome. You. So where's the party at? I was beginning to wonder myself. I'm sorry, I'm sorry there's no more party. Yeah. But, Daniel, you told me that. Yes, you? I know. I know, I'm very sorry. See, my other sister was supposed to be coming back from London in whose honor I was throwing the party. Didn't show up again. She postponed till December. Oh my God. And we're already here. Well, you were supposed to come yesterday or the day before for me to tell you, but you didn't show up. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Dan, you see, I'm sorry, I went to the area of my primary assignment. So oh, yeah. I see. Well, well, no problem. Nothing spoiled. Uh, no matter, you know. Everything is cool. Uh -huh. I'll take you guys out to the most exotic and uh, beautiful restaurant in town to make up for this disappointment, you know? Oh, that would be great. I hope you don't mind. We'll go in my car, then. Yeah, okay. Let me drive one. Let me get it. Cool. Well,
Oh, uh, Mary, right? Yes. Oh. You're the guy that took us out the other time, right? Yeah. Daniel. Yes, you're correct. How are you? Fine. And how's your boyfriend? Excuse me? I mean your boyfriend, Patrick. <laughs> um, he's fine, but Patrick is not my boyfriend. We're very good friends. Oh, I see. Well, that's interesting. Anyway, can I drop you somewhere? Actually, um, I'm on my way home. Okay, to the house we go then. Bye. <laughs> Come in. Thank you for bringing me home. The pleasure is all mine. Alright. So. Okay, Mary. Uh, Mary. Mary. Yeah? Will you be free tomorrow? Why do you ask? Um, I, I would like to take you to dinner. I think so because I'll be busy tomorrow. I, I don't mind how short the time is, but I really would like to sit with you at dinner. No, I don't think it's possible. I am really, really busy. Can I come and see you tomorrow then? I am not promising to be around tomorrow. Okay. No matter the, what the case is. I'll see you around. Thank you. You're Daniel, right? Yeah, that's right. Ah, you remember me. That's good. Um, uh, Jane, I, I wonder if you have a few minutes to spare. I'd like to talk to you. I hope there's no problem. No, no, there's no problem at all. It's about your friend Mary. Mary? What about her? Um, Jane, this is very, very important to me. I... I... I like your friend very much. I'd like to marry her, for real. You're talking to the wrong person here. Especially when you've not even talked it over with her. Yes, but Mary won't give me the time of day. So I, I need you to help me convince her, at least to sit down with me and talk it out. You know, I mean, she wouldn't go out on a date with me. If you ask me, marriage. Marriage is the easiest thing men use in getting under women's underwear. So easy. Yeah, I know. I know the way you feel, but, but it's not true. And I'm, I'm sure Mary's thinking that way too. But I, I, I'll prove it wrong. I'll prove it to you that I'm serious. I need you on my side, you know, to be able to convince Mary. I... You see, what I want with your friend is to marry her and raise a family. For real, I'm serious. Come in, the door is open. I'm all that, so. Hello. Hi. Hi, 
I got you something. I, I remember you said you'd be very, very busy too, and uh, you won't have the time to go out to eat. So I just thought I should bring you something from the fast food joint I normally take my lunch. Oh, that is... I'm sure you like it. Thank you so much. But really, you shouldn't have gone through all the trouble. No, 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 it's my pleasure. I, I, I really wanted to get it for you. It's no problem at all. Thanks. Well, I really, I really have to be going now. I ought oh, to be going. Yeah. Okay. Well, I want to ask you, Mary. Will you please find the time to go out on a lunch date with me? I'm sorry, don't be offended, but. I don't think I'll have the time. I'm still very busy. Oh, see, see I, don't, I, don't, I don't care if it's only five minutes you spend with me. I really would love to sit down with you and talk with you, you know? Okay, you know. right, let's do it this way. Give me a call tomorrow. If I'm free, I'll let you know so we can meet. Yeah, but I don't have your number. Oh, let me give it to you. something to tell you. Mm -hmm. It's about Danny. I think he's serious. So you think I should go? Yeah. Why don't go out on a date with him tomorrow? You think I should do that? Enjoying your meal, Mary? Yeah. Yeah, nice. Yeah. What are you staring at? I'm staring at you, Mary. Ever since that day you came to my house with Patrick, I've never stopped staring at you. Oh, really? Um, let me guess. So what is going to be your next move now? I think you'll take me to your house and then you show me a bedroom. <laughs> Mary, I'm not that naughty. Come on, this is a lie that every man should avoid. We women will know the street. Marry me, Mary. Beg, beg your pardon? I want you to be my wife. <laughs> well, that's a nice joke. Mary, Mary. Ever since I set my eyes on you, known that I've not, I wasn't looking at an ordinary woman. I was looking at my wife. Bone of my bones, flesh of my flesh. I needed no second place. Wait, <laughs> you asked me for a dinner date, and now, Mary. Well, I thought I, I played the field. I thought I'd seen them all. I thought I've had the most beautiful until I met you. And since I saw you, I knew that I was not just looking at anybody. When I look at you, I see only one thing. My wife.
please marry me. Hey, come on, Patrick. Why are you behaving like a woman? Look, Daniel is my friend. How could he do this to me? No, you never you should have known that I love Mary and I really wanted to marry her. Well, Patrick, you never told him. You should have asked. Well, he said he did ask that. And she said that you and her were just good friends with no strings attached. I love Mary. I've always loved her. I've always wanted to marry her. I was just waiting for the service to be over before I proposed to her and marry her. And now I have to watch my own very good friend take her from me for life. And this too bitter for me to swallow. I understand, Patrick. See, the truth is maybe you and her were not meant to be husband and wife. And... Mary. Patrick, I really do not know where to start. I tried to explain to you earlier, but you sounded so heartbroken and I was very surprised. What drove you to him, Mary? His car, his house, or what? Patrick, you and I have always been very good friends. And you've always given me good advice. But it never crossed my mind that you were in love with me. You never told me. Mary. I've always wanted you. I was just waiting for the right moment. Then why didn't you tell me? But I guess now it's too late because I've already accepted Daniel's ring. But you and I can always be very good friends. Okay? You and I. Patrick, that's all right. It's all right. See, Patrick, there's a time for you to be the real man I've always known you to be. Remember, you still have Lucy. I don't want Lucy. And you can still get married to her. And I don't want Lucy. All I want is Mary. All I love is Mary. All I want to have my kids with is Mary. Oh, I want Mary, I want Mary, I want Mary. Mary is it.
And she says, Dear, okay, I've got lunch prepared. Why don't you come to the dining and eat? Besides, don't you think you're too old to be having nightmares in broad daylight? Eh? Huh? Alright, come. Let me come, I'll wait for you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for coming to celebrate with my wife and I on this very special day. I want to ask a question. What is happiness and how do you define happiness? Is it when you look at your bank account? Or when you look at the achievements you have been able to make in this world? Well, those are ephemeral things. Those are meaningless things when you pass away. You know, those things you leave behind when you die. For me, happiness is when I look at my wife, when I look into her eyes and I see her smile. For me, that is happiness. Mary, I love you. Heaven knows that I love you. I love you now, and I will always love you. find you now? Naughty, naughty. You should be working. Not when I'm holding your picture in my arms, staring at you and you smiling at me. 
What are you wearing? What is that? I want to know what you're wearing so I can imagine you. I am not wearing anything. Wow! Thank God! I am done for the day and, and uh, I'm on my way home right now. Uh -uh. You're not going to find me at home. Not if I hurry enough. Well, I just be prepared to take me to the southern den. Oh, honey. I am prepared to take you to the most beautiful kingdom in the world. Well, I'm already there since the first day you took me to your home. I love you, darling. Hello, Patu! What an unexpected mission, man! Dano! Hello! Am I safe? I have to search you, man. Am I safe? I don't know if you're safe. But then ask me again with one good glass of wine. Alright, when I saw the pretty face of your pretty wife, I knew that I am safe. Hey, hey! Hi, Mary! How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm good. Hold on. Hi! Hold on, man. Fine. Uh, yeah. Oh, Daniel, that was a lovely anniversary party the both of you put together the other day. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. You know, since um, my, my dear Patrick has decided to forget what wedding anniversary is called, we decided to put it together to remind him. <laughs> don't mind him. How can he remember when the word calendar does not even exist in oh, his no, dictionary? Oh no, don't blame me. Uh -huh. Was it not you that was um, uh, at Potako last year doing uh -huh. your job? Mm -hmm. So was I in Potako this year? Two years back and the previous Patrick, one. You just uh -huh. admit it. You go. You go. Please first. tell him. And let's let's blame it on time and tight schedules with a lot of deadlines uh, to me. You see, you. Uh, meanwhile, that food. <laughs> You guys served on your yeah. anniversary. It was so nice. Who cooked it? Mary, you cooked that? Yes, I did. And thanks for noticing. This man here didn't take it. So oh, that makes both of us. Well, 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 you you know, but how could I have noticed when, when I was busy watching her waist? <laughs> As if you're the only one. <laughs> Hey, we were busy, you know, watching the waist of our oh, wife. Right. Yes, you know, <laughs> the, 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 you know, the wine. Like, you know, kind of the yeah. And it kind of reminds me of it, of it, of it. Mary. What about the pictures we took that day? Are they out yet? The photographer will bring them this week. 
Oh, precisely on Monday, I'll send it across. Oh, good, yes, good, good. Because some. I'm interested in watching some snapshots of the pictures. You know, especially then when Mary was there. Yeah. And, you know, and uh, mm -hmm. where my wife was. Good. You know, the waste of the wives, you know. Oh, you guys are just oh, so good. You know. Yeah. So you want more of those pictures so that you can watch more waste. And then on your own, too, you know. You know, so you know, you know, you know. And you know, you know, you know. You want to copy our waste. You want to make some of our waste. It's very awesome. <laughs> Mary, can you imagine Mary is getting younger every year? Can you imagine how she looks after five years of marriage? Oh, please. Don't you think you've embarrassed me, you know? Ah, uh, what are you talking about? Uh, watching her waist while she's dancing, commending her cooking, which I know and everyone else knows is trash. Uh, for oh, crap. let me finish, let me finish. What you want her pictures for anyway? What? Mary, that's not the issue. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Go right ahead. Call me her name. Come, call me honey. Look, this girl is a wife to my best friend, our family friend, and an old schoolmate, okay? I'm fine. Leave it at that. Just leave it there. What's biting you, son? What's all this speaking about? You want to know what's biting me? Yeah. You want to know what's biting me? Oh, no. Fine. How many times in the last five years have you commented my cooking, now watched my waist when I walk? And in case you're wondering why your Mary is an every year young, put into consideration that I've given you two lovely children where she has none. And of course, I don't deserve commendation for that, do I? Oh, this is our music. This is it. Hi, Patrick. How are you doing? Mary, I was just wondering if anybody's at home. Of course you know you will find me at home. I'm receiving work next month. Next month. And Daniel, sleeping? No, he'll be back in the next two hours. Did you check him out of the office? No. But since he'll be there for the next two hours, I guess, on my way home, I'll just check on him. No, I don't think that is necessary. You just sit down and wait for him. Let me get you a drink. So, how is Lucy and the kids? Fine. Very fine. Fine. Oh. But I must tell you, we have been so late. How many times do I have to beg you to bring your kids over to my house to spend the weekend? To give you a Daniel headache. Oh, come off it. You know I don't mind. <laughs> what are you smiling at? Well, I just remembered way back in school how we used to be together and how I honestly thought we would end up as husband and wife. Everybody knew us then. Yes, as two good friends. But you didn't let your feelings known to me. Not until Daniel slipped the ring into my fingers and he ended up being the best man. Well, life is like that at times. I'm happy for you, doll. Daniel really loves you just the way I did. I think he loves me much more than that. He loves me a whole lot. Only that. Only that what? What's the problem? Are you all right? Patrick. Daniel loves me so much. But I have not reciprocated the love I give him a child. Five years of marriage. And I have nothing to show for it. Wait. Not even a baby. Why bother yourself? Does he complain? He won't complain to my hair, but I know deep inside of him 
If he was a... He's a man. And what have you done about this? I've gone through countless tests. Medication, oral, traditional, physiological, whatever, just name it. They keep saying the same thing. They keep saying I'm okay and I'm able to have a child. What about Daniel? Any test? You should tell me he's your friend. He's bragging about pregnant in the whole world. Well, I remember way back, there was this lady he got pregnant by the reporter. Yeah, why can't I just have a baby? What I, why can't I just get pregnant? I know his people in the village will start talking, calling me all kinds of names and... Maybe. See? God, I'm just asking God to just give me one baby. I'm not asking for too much, just a child. It's everything, okay? Don't bother yourself. Everything has its own time. And I believe your time will come. Why are you taking too long? You just take it easy, okay? This address for over an hour now. Now that we are seen it, pay me now and let me go. Isn't it your job? Isn't it? Yo, you want me to pay you and after you dump me and go away. See for Gamma, Mama. And what are you? And what are you sitting? What are you doing? Mama, Mama, where are you? Don't come near me, you lying hypocrite. First, you tell your get man to quarry me, not to step into my son's house. And you stay here opening your teeth. Are you mad? Oh, Mama, why are you saying all that? And why are you sounding so bitter? Why shouldn't I sound so bitter? You sat down here in the house waiting for me to bring in my bag. You said I need to come and help me. You balance here. Big woman. Oh, Mama, the get man could have helped you. It is you that the get man will help. Don't worry. No problem. Very soon. I'm going to bring somebody that will help you to get me my grandchildren. Since you believe in giving and receiving help. You will see. I 
And you will laugh at every game like this. Don't touch me. Don't come here. Where am I to give this? Afternoon. And how is everybody in the everybody village? Everybody in the village, they are fine. It's such a great scene. That's good, it's good. <laughs> uh, but why are you doing this yourself? Uh, where's my wife? Your wife? Are you asking me? Ah, she's whatever she is. Oh, Mama, why are you sounding this way about your own daughter-in-law? Daughter-in-law? Look at this big and beautiful house. Lonely and quiet. Eh? There's no sound of uh, little children crying or even laughter. Mama, don't tell me that you're one of those people. You know that if children are things that you can buy from the supermarket, my money would buy you 20 dozen. I don't want any dozen. Just start with one. Let me see. Just one. Huh? Anyway, let me go and finish. Um... Okay. See me in the time. Mary, please, tell me, what is it? Is it my mother? Look here, sweetheart. Don't let her preaching about getting a second wife get to you. You must have guessed by now that is the reason she came here. I know. This is my fault. I've not been able to. Shh. Say no more. This is a phase. It will go and give way to a new phase. God can respect your mother. I don't know why she's doing this to me. It's not my mother almighty to, to give birth to a child. No, 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 no. Mary. I love you. I want you to have that at the back of your mind all the time. Never forget that. I love you very much, okay? Hmm? You are the one that makes my day. Oh, yeah, yeah. You are the one I think of every day. Oh. We really have to talk. That's why I've come to see you, Daniel. We have to talk. Look, for instance, you didn't need to do this yourself. My wife could have done it for you instead of you going into the kitchen by yourself. I never knew your kitchen is out of bound, even to me, your own mother. Look, Mama, I'm not talking about my kitchen being out of bounds to you. But you have to realize that you have a daughter-in-law in this house. And your hostility towards her I'm not making her comfortable at all. I'm not the one that is giving her hostility. But because of her conscience, working towards you, that is what is disturbing her. Mama, for God's sake, Mary is not God who gives children. Do you think that is my grudges? What are your grudges, Mama? What are your grudges? She should set your mind and soul free so as to follow your path just like any other man. Mama, <coughs> what exactly are you talking about? I know there are certain women, just like your so-called wife, that are barren. But that doesn't mean that she should 
tie you down spiritually so that you won't be able to have grandchildren for me. Mama, nobody is tying me down spiritually. Nobody. How do you know? How do you know? But what is stopping you from having a second wife? No. What is stopping you? Mama, Mary will have children when the time comes. I don't need a second wife. Such loyalties are meant for fools. They don't even know when they'll be dragged to their graves. Mama, I am not a fool. Then prove it. Prove it to me, your mother. Prove it to the entire village. Yes, I heard that she has even turned your mind against my will and against your proper thinking. Look, Mama, my wife is not whatever they have deceived you to believe through their gossips. She's not. Then what is stopping you? Whenever I send for you to come from the village, you refuse coming. What is stopping you? Nothing else. Nothing else. But this is your attitude that you are exhibiting towards Mary now. My wife. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. We are all humans. Leave her alone. So, Patrick, how, how the project you're handling now? Well, we've gone halfway through, but I still need that letter of uh, reference for my bank to release the credit. But I've sent it now. You did? Yes. When was that? Uh, that was uh, three days ago. My accountant took it there. Oh, Danny, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, no, I should go in Oh, okay. Um, hi, Mary. Mary's fine, my brother. It's just that... Uh, my mother is putting unnecessary pressure on her. Your mother? Uh, why? My mother is in town, you know. But she's leaving by the weekend. No, see. She's battering Mary all over the place just because the poor girl is not pregnant yet. And then she wants me to take a second wife. What are you going to do? Take another wife? Are you out of your mind, Patrick? You know that I love Mary and I don't need a second wife. Better. Better, but you know, you have to forgive her. She's just been concerned. Negatively, if you ask me. Look, don't blame your mother too much, you know. I can understand her feeling. Well, um, I'm going for lunch, man. Let's go together. Oh, no, sorry, 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 but I can't go now. See, I, I'm doing these feasibility studies. I, I need to put a proposal together. Maybe next time now, next time. Okay, okay. okay. Maybe later in, I'll call you now. Thank right? you. Okay. Thank you very much. All right, right. thanks, much. No problem. Bless you. My regards to your wife. Okay? Yes, and to me, your mother, very talking. Okay. Take care now. Where's your car? Um, my car is at the mechanic. We'll bring it over by the weekend. Okay, let me drop you. Where are you going to? I'm going to the house. Right, coming. All right, thanks. <laughs> Showed me what life and love was all about. Gave me things that I never need. You in my thoughts, my every dream. I found your in you too. I wish the way you made me touch. Life is cruel. So now allow your sugar daddies and your boyfriends to drop you off in front of my son's house. For Christ's sake, Mama, <laughs> that is Patrick, Daniel's best friend. I don't care who he is, whether he's Daniel's school teacher. That is how you girls of nowadays sneak around with your family friends, committing abortion here and there. But when it is time for you to have a child for your husband, you start being wanting. Mama, what have I, what, what, what did I do, for, do to deserve all this insult? Who is insulting you? Who is insulting you? I. Georgiana, is it? Insult who? You? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You are the one insulting yourself when you cannot make my son a father. Just look at you. Secondhand property. 
Mama, you, you say this. If you like, cry yourself to death. I'm going to bring somebody who is going to accomplish what you have failed to achieve. I'm going to bring that person. <laughs> in front of the house. Mama saw us. And now she's accusing me of sleeping around. What? She has been really abusive of me saying all kinds of things to me and... Wait, 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 wait. Oh. I did not tell you this for you to confront Mama, please. There are certain things that must stop! My family. What did my wife do to you? What did she say I've done? I saw a man dropping her at the gates. The man you saw is my friend, Patrick! It's not me you should have me. You should be raising your voice and standing. Mama, I'm sorry I have to say this, but I think you have to go back home. What? Are you driving me out of your house? I am not sending you away from my house, Mama. But I have to do what I have to do to keep my relationship with my wife. Hey, I said it! I said it! She has succeeded in poisoning your mind against me. You couldn't even listen to me, Daniel! I will listen to you when I come to the village next month. But for now, I have to keep you away from my wife. And I think enough is enough. Daniel! Okay. But are you sure you're going to make it before Saturday evening? Of course. I have to go to work on Monday, you know. Besides, it's a small meeting for my, my grandmother's funeral. Thank <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's fake. Can you imagine he's still in the house? Uh, Daniel, how come you're just leaving by this time? For this kind of a trip, I'm not an early riser. <laughs> how are you doing? You mean to tell me you don't like to go to the village? No, I do. I do. It's just yeah. that uh, I don't like going at this time of year. You know? Mm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, oh. I have to leave okay. now. Yeah. Uncle has to go. Take care of yourself, eh? You? Hey, Pato! Ah, now, Pato, where have you been? Where I should be asking you now. What? You were supposed to have given me a call when you came back from village last week, but I didn't hear from you. And yes, yes, I remember. But you see, I had to go back to the village, you know. I had to give some drugs to my mom and then take her back in for checkup, you know. All this kind of. Why is she now? Well, she's okay, she's okay, but uh But they're finally attacking Mary. My worst nightmare has come true. You mean your wife's nightmare? I love Mary Pat. I love her. I wouldn't let anything happen to her. Not even their talk about forcing another woman on me can, can change my mind. They already got a girl for you? Well, they are using one kind of style, Sha, you know. They are getting my, my, my aunt's daughter, Felicia, to get one of her friends to come and spend all the day with me. Uh, so that in the, in the process, you know, we think that one or two things can happen between us, you know. Once my mother is determined, no Jupiter can stop her. For what? I just hope that Mary does not get to hear this. It will break her heart. Man, nothing will happen. I'm telling you. Let's go for a drink. just want you to have it at the back of your mind that there is a battle for you at the home front and if you want to dissuade them the time to act is now what do you want me to do i am not god i have gone through a series of tests everything nothing has happened nothing that means you're prepared to lose your home and your place in daniel's life to one local girl please patrick what are you trying to tell me what are you saying Mary, keep an eye on your husband and keep your ears on the ground. They've concluded an arrangement as I'm talking to you now to get a new wife for Daniel. Her name is Felicia. And Daniel told me that he will not bring her into this house until she's pregnant. That's why she's not here yet. I don't know. 
you told me all this in confidence but as a friend I just felt I should let you know Mary he even told me that even if you find out about this Felicia and ask him he will tell you she's one distant cousin of his living in Kaduna or whatever story if you doubt me ask him so what do you want me to do? Uh, Mary get your pregnancies that's where you're not a kid. What? I am not ready for any kind of ritual. And who is talking about rituals here? Get someone outside there to get you pregnant. Oh, for my. Saturday evening? Of course. I have to go to work on Monday, you know. Besides, it's a small meeting for my, my grandmother's funeral. Can you imagine he's still in the house? Uh, Daniel, how come you're just leaving by this time? For this kind of a trip, I'm not an early riser. <laughs> how you doing? You mean to tell me you don't like to go to the village? No, I do. I do. It's just that uh, I don't like going at this time of year. You know? Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, oh. I have to leave okay. now. Okay. Yeah. Uncle has to go. Take care of yourself, eh? Mm. Oh. Oh. came back from village last week but i didn't hear from you and yes yes i remember but you see i had to go back to the village you know i had to give some drugs to my mom and then take her back in for checkup you know all this kind of how is she now well she's okay she's okay but uh but they're finally attacking mary my worst nightmare has come true. You mean your wife's nightmare? I love Mary Pat. I love her. I wouldn't let anything happen to her. Not even their talk about forcing another woman on me can, can change my mind. They already got a girl for you? Well, they are using one kind of style, Sha, you know. They are getting my, my, my aunt's daughter, Felicia to get one of our friends to come and spend all the day with me uh, so that in the, in the process, you know, I think that one or two things can happen between us, you know. Once my mother is determined, no Jupiter can stop her. For what? I just hope that Mary does not get to hear this. It will break her heart. Man, nothing will happen. I'm telling you. Let's go for a drink. Hey, 
There is a battle for you at the home front. And if you want to dissuade them, the time to act is now. What do you want me to do? I am not God. I have gone through a series of tests. Everything, nothing has happened. Nothing. That means you are prepared to lose your home and your place in Daniel's life to one local girl. Please, Patrick, what are you trying to tell me? What are you saying? Mary. Keep an eye on your husband and keep your ears on the ground. They've concluded arrangement as I'm talking to you now to get a new wife for Daniel. Her name is Felicia. And Daniel told me that he will not bring her into this house until she's pregnant. That's why she's not here yet. Why? I don't know. He told me all this in confidence. But as a friend, I just felt I should let you know. Mary, he even told me that even if you find out about this Felicia and ask him, he will tell you she's one distant cousin of his living in Kaduna or whatever story. If you doubt me, ask him. So, what do you want me to do? Oh, Mary, get your pregnancies elsewhere. You're not a kid. What? I am not ready for any kind of ritual. And who is talking about rituals here? Get someone outside there to get you pregnant. pregnant. Over my dead body. You're about to lose your husband and all you can say is... I him. love my husband, okay? And my body is for him. How dare you, Patrick? I can't even think about this. So far, where has this gotten you to? Hatred, insults, wars from your in-laws. Mary, things have changed. And the table is about to turn against you. It's okay. Uh -huh. And um, what are you cooking? Or should we go out to eat? No. I'm preparing vegetable stew and planting. Mm. I'm hungry already. <laughs> Just add chicken to it. Fried. And you would have done nothing wrong. You would have fried chicken. <laughs> I was thinking of going to the village to see your mother. Why? Why do you want to go to the village? Remember she was ill. Yeah, but she's okay now and it's always as if it was a serious illness. Besides, the last medical checkup confirms her to be strong and healthy. In that case, you don't want me to go. Well, I don't see the need. Aha, uh -huh, somebody called. She said she's your cousin from the village. My cousin from the village? Any name? Yes. She called herself Felicia. She called herself Felicia. Do you know her? Oh, 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 Felicia. Yes, 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 I know her. Ha, <laughs> ha, I know her. She's my distant aunt's daughter. You know, I met her for the first time when I went to the village last time. 
Uh, she was such a small girl. But now she's all grown up. I mean, she's a big girl now, you and know. You, and, and, and you gave her a number, meaning that you approve of her. When is she coming for holidays that I can meet her? Oh, no, she's not coming for holidays, not at all. She's not. I mean, she lives in the north, uh, uh, school and all that. Um, I'm even sure she's gone back to Kaduna now. No, she's not coming for holidays at all. Oh, sweetheart, let me go take a shower. Oh, she's The institute is organizing a workshop to be followed by a seminar in Joss. Um, I've been drafted into technical and organizing committees. Oh. Yeah. That is nice. That means you've been coming home? No, no, not exactly. Yes. The, 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 same, the conference is taking place in Joss. I'll be away for about 10 days. Probably two weeks. That is too long. Am I coming with you? Even if you do, I'll be so busy I don't have time for you and you'll be irritated. You know, the, the whole welfare department is under my charge. It's going to be really hectic. Oh. Yeah, I understand. But I really miss you. Yeah, I'll miss you too. But I'll call you. I'll always call you. Always, every minute, every hour, every, every, every time. Yeah. No, this is not true. Look, when he told me about Felicia's pregnancy, I wasn't happy. But I just felt I should let you. No, no, you're lying to me. Patrick, you're lying. Patrick. Mary, he told you also about a conference. There is no conference. He just wanted to stay away from you for two weeks. Tell me I'm lying. Right. It's coming. How? Oh, Mary. That time is not on this time. You cannot get pregnant overnight. With someone else, yeah. But with Daniel, I don't know. Her. But if I can get someone else pregnant, why can't you get me pregnant? That's the question. When they have thrown you out of your matrimonial home and lapel you, I wish that it's our um, bond babies. Mary. Someone else has to do the job if you must secure your home and marriage. No, 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 no this is all light. This is all light. Oh, now I get it. This is the trick you and Daniel are trying to pull on me. But I'm not gonna fall for it. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> Is there nobody at this gate? Eh? Even though that house girl didn't place here. I've been looking for the past two hours, nobody answered me. Why? Wait, 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 wait,
Oh, you don't know me? Well, I'm Chief Callistus Egwomu. I am from the village. I was sent to give very important message to our brother Daniel. I hope he's inside. No, Uncle. He's not at home. He he traveled. Traveled? Yes. For what? Why should you travel at this critical moment? Hey, why? When the entire kindreds and our new in-laws are waiting for him. New in-laws? What are you talking about, Uncle? Oh, oh, oh. So he didn't tell you? Hey, Danny, 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 go back and Tell me what, I don't know. Hey? But we asked him to inform you so both of you can come down to the village for the bride prize ceremony of his new wife, Felicia, who is not pregnant. Hey? What did he tell you? Hey, Danny, 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 Danny. Anyway, um, since he's not in, let me go and see our brother, Okabu, because I'm going to spend the night there. Wait, if he comes back, say not to disappoint us anymore. He has no reason to disappoint. Because during the weekends he was coming to water the pregnant woman. Is it now that he will disappoint? Tell him not to disappoint you. Hey, Patrick. <laughs> Everything went fine. I wish you were at your place of honor when I entered the compound. I need to tell the lady and the lady. The, the, um, uh, yeah. she believe you? Hey, I told her that every weekend her husband comes home to water the pregnant woman and she was crying. She was crying. I wish you were there. You are going to double the money now you are, you are, you are giving me. Um, <laughs> see, um, hey, hey. I will give you what we agreed. Hey, yeah. hey. Then. If I go and try and walk, no, forget that one. I did a night job. I manage this one, eh? Mm -hmm. Just prepare for another job because this one is gone. No problem. No problem. <laughs> well done, eh? Hey, Pat, well done. you should get mad. Well done, eh? Pat, Pat, let me go. Hey, I'm having a job for me. Also, had to come. Is everything all right? Let's do it. Sorry? Do what? I... I want you to get me pregnant. This must be a joke. Stop pretending, okay? I know you've always wanted me. What? I want you to help me save my marriage. Get me pregnant, Patrick. Baby, I'm your husband's friend. But that is why you must do it. Nobody will know. Nobody will suspect anything. And remember, he once loved me, right? Are you sure of this? I can only trust you. You're the one that knows what I'm going through. We've been friends for a long time. I have never been sure of anything in my life. 
Doctor, what did you say? You are pregnant. I am pregnant. Doctor, are you, are you very sure that? Yeah. Absolutely. You are pregnant. I am pregnant. I am pregnant. What are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me, okay? Your cover has been blown. Oh, how could you do it? How could you go behind my back to arrange to marry another wife? Are you tired of me? Mary, what did you just say? A man came here. He said he's from your village. And he told me everything. He told me everything I needed to know. Mary, please, if this is a joke, it is not at all funny. Is this the way you choose to welcome me back home? You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself, Daniel. That you got me pregnant only for you to run away with your people looking for another wife to marry? Oh, so you came to throw me out so that you can bring her in, right? Is that what you came to do? Well, you can do whatever. Go ahead, do it. I don't care. I don't give a damn. Just go ahead, okay? Are you pregnant? Oh, get your speaking hands off me. You lying bastard. Who do you think you are? Look, Mary, I swear to you, I do not know what you're talking about. I mean, I, I, I made no arrangements whatsoever with anybody to get a new wife. I swear, I don't know what you're talking about. The, the man came here. He said his name is Egwong or whatever. I don't give a damn. Just stop lying to me, damn it. Mean, I do not know anybody by that name. Oh, Mary, Mary, Mary. Like again. Okay. I love you, Mary. I don't care whether you have a child or not. I love you. And I will never hide anything from you, Mary. I love you. What do I need another woman for? If I want, I would have done that ages ago. 
Mary, I love you. I love you. And I swear to you, there's no one else. You came here? You are the one that makes my day. You came here? Oh, yeah. You were almost shouting at me. You are made a mockery of me. My Look, I am here now. Oh, Let him come so that I will know. My heart belongs to you. My life is surrender to you. My heart will be with you. Are you Where is my God? My love will be yours. Whenever you need me, I will always be there for you. Whenever you need me, because I love you. Oh yeah, you are the one. time it is? Is this the time a responsible man with a family should be coming back from work? It is almost midnight. For God's sake, I can come home to my house anytime I want. Ah. And for your information, don't you ever lock me out again. Oh, God, tell that to those prostitutes you disgrace yourself with. Patrick, what do you take me for? Look, I'm not cut out for this nonsense, Lucy. Ah. I had a busy day. Okay, well, who knows what it is? Hey, I hope you're not telling that to me. I hope you're not telling me good night, Patrick. You see that dish there? I prepared it. You made me prepare so you will eat it. Feed it to the dogs, Lucy. She said I should feed it to the dogs. I should feed that Lucy. Lucy. It's a... I want to take my rest, Lucy. Please. No, if you want to take your rest, you're going to sit down on that dining table and eat that food you, you, you are wasting my time in preparing. Lucy. Lucy. What? Eat that food though. But did you eat that food though? Oh. What the heck is wrong with you? You're going to eat this food. You're not only going to eat this food, you're going to finish it. Oh my God, can't I rest in my house? Can't I rest? What is it? What have I done to you? I, I, I go to work in the morning. I come back and waste my time in making food for you here. Look at the time you're coming back from working family, man. But you forgot that you've got kids. You eat it though. You will not even only eat this food. You will finish it. Ha! Ah. What is it that I've done to you?
No, no, no. I'm just my wife. She's doing okay. She's okay. I see. Who, who is your wife? The pregnant woman I brought here. Okay. This is one of them. Wow. Congratulations, Mr. Davis. You have a baby boy. Congratulations. Doctor. Yes, man. Is that not true? Can I see her? Why not? Follow me. My picture and my and um, I'm a baby. What baby? Mary's baby. Patrick, when did you take this picture? Oh, that day we went for their child's dedication. And since he's the first baby of my best friend, after five whole years, I just thought it good to have a picture like this. For what purpose? For remembrance. Remembrance. Them five whole years. Maybe just to give testimony to God. Patrick, please, I will not have someone else's picture that is not a member of my family hanging on the wall. But they are our family friends. So what? Should I take a look around? How many of our children's pictures, mine or yours, is hanging on the wall? I don't want to see. Darling. Oh, this is like all kinds of places in London. Really? All kinds of places. My love. The love of my life. How are you? Only I'm really hungry. Only, only, only. You hungry? Yes, mommy. Okay, don't worry. I prepared something really special for you, darling. Okay, let me show you. First, whoever brought me out showed me what life and love was all about. Gave me things that I never need. You're in my thoughts, my every dream. I found your heart. You were tired. I wish you said the way you made me love. Life is cruel, now she gone, I love you so, I can't let go of me, I don't 
you hear me and not trying to forget the way that you love me. Not only you live, not trying to forget the way that you love me. I hate you so much. Well, this Jesus is a very strong warrior. A very strong soldier. He was the he, he was going to be the emperor of Rome. You know Rome. Do you know Rome in history? Yes. Uh -huh. He was going to be strong, uh, the very very strong uh, emperor of Rome. But some people gathered together. They called them conspirators. And when they got into the senate chambers, where the senators sit down to hold their meeting, they planned to kill him. So as he was speaking, somebody just got off his one of his friends who. So, Use a knife to stab Julius Caesar. And Julius Caesar was still strong. He was, he was not ready to die yet. He was still strong and he was going on. And then his best friend called Brutus. Brutus now stabbed Caesar. As Brutus stabbed Caesar, he saw that his own best friend had betrayed him. So there was no need for him to live again. His best friend planned with the other people to kill him. And when his friend Brutus now stabbed Caesar, Caesar died. As he was dying, he said, Et tu Brute, it means you too, Brutus. So you are among the people who will kill me. You know, when your best friend betrays you, is it a good thing? That's why Caesar died. And you will hear a lot of people now saying, Et tu Brute. And Caesar was a very, very strong man. He has conquered many countries. So I want you to be a strong man and don't ever learn to betray anybody. You know what betrayal is? <laughs> when you when you yes, betray, when you when you turn against, when you when you when you plan with somebody and then you go and do something else. Good men don't do that kind of thing. Not only you me, not trying to forget the way that you love me. Not only you me, not trying to forget the Not only you me, not trying to forget the way that you love me. Not only you me, not trying to forget the way that you love me. Not only you me, not trying to forget. You were the first who ever brought me out Showed me what life and love was all about Gave me things that I never need During my thoughts, my every dream I found joy in your touch I am says the way you made me blush Life is cruel, not to go on. I love you so, I can't let go, yeah. Not only you, me, not trying to forget the way that you love me. Not only you, me, not trying to forget the way that you love me. I hate you so much, you've done to me, made me fall in love with
There's no time. Where's your mother? She's coming. She's still loving me. Ah, what sort of rubbish makeup is that? Lucy! Lucy! Uh, can't you see it's getting late? Why are you yelling like this, Nye? What do you, what you mean it's getting late? Is it not being anywhere going to? Why are you talking as if it's Kaduna we're going to? to? My friend, get me back. I don't have time, please. Like, uh, Where is this nonsense get back? Open that gate now. Don't know why you should just be telling like this. Nurse, no, please. Oh, doctor, please. How is he? Yes, how terrible. Yes, he's yeah, he's probably over him when he got called. Um, he's badly affected. But how badly do you mean? Um, his lower spine is damaged. Meaning? He may not be able to work again. Oh, God. Paralysis, you mean? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Why can't you I'm sorry. Yeah, the much. No! Oh, no. Here you are, brother. We have to go in now. What's your food? Mouth will I be? When all my family members are out there in the country, freezing away. No, brother, you can't go on like this. You have to concentrate on your getting well first. Get well for who? And why didn't this death take me to? Why? Because we still need you. We are very glad you are alive to compensate us over your family's death. But most of all, you have to get well for us. Yes. Yes. Kate, Lucy, all my family. It's okay. He says he's going to be here later on. How was your day, man? Oh, the same thing. Where is your sister, Anne? I haven't seen her. Um, she left here two hours ago, but she'll be back later in the day. Okay. Um, Patrick, I got your message saying I should come alone. I hope everything is okay. 
Mary. My morning has suddenly turned to midnight. A midnight filled with nightmares. The gentle wind that caressed my troubled soul now mocked me. The sun has refused to shine. Patrick, you, you speak in parables. There's no reason for you to mourn yourself, okay? Just be thankful to God that you're alive. And it's only God that knows the reason why he took your family away. I'll mourn myself, Mary. But I've decided to take the only option left. It's true I lost my family to death, but not entirely. I still have someone left. One child left. One child? I'm talking about Junior, man. What? I know this might come to you as a rude shock, but Junior is still my child. I want him back. No, no, no. <laughs> Patrick, wait. God, Patrick, no. No, 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 no. You promised me. Why do you want to ruin me? No, 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 no. You, you, you promised. No, Patrick, you can't do this to me. Mary, I have no choice. Can't you see I'm paralyzed and cannot pregnant a woman again? Damn you, Patrick. How am I supposed to explain to Daniel that his son of nine years is not his, but a product of circumstantial adultery committed by a wife he loved? Tell me. Mary, I lost my family to death. This junior is the only thing I have left. I don't want to be alone. I know because I don't, you know, why I'm willing to pay you anything. I'm, I'm willing to fly you abroad for you to get medical treatment. Just anything. Stay away from the junior. I want nothing else but my child. My flesh and blood. I don't want to be alone, please. That's true. <sighs> Stay away from me and my family. You're asking for the impossible. And don't you ever don't even think about it. Mary. Want my child back. That's
I hope we're not going far. No, no. I just want to feel the earth. And we see the sun again. And feel the warm atmosphere battle my sister. Mm, so where are we going? Anywhere. Just anywhere around. I've been at home for one whole week. So boring. We now have to come back to make dinner. Oh, no, no, no. Things have changed in this street. <laughs> no, I really do. As if they were waiting for me to go out. For them to stop once in this street.
is it? No, I missed it. What do you mean you missed? I paid you well. I think you got lucky, you know. I was already in the room. The nurse from nowhere entered and there's nothing I could do about it. And you ran away. Better go back and finish the job. No, there's no way I'm going back to that hospital. That place by now will really be clamoring with the police. Step out of the car. Keep in touch. We need to strike here. You said you could not recognize the face of the criminal. No, not exactly, sir. There was no way I would have recognized his face. I was really too scared to look at him. Doctor, has anything like this ever happened before in this hospital? No, nothing like this has ever happened in my hospital. It's the first time, and I'm shocked. Do you keep cash or items of extreme value in the hospital? Not really. I said the life of my patient. And that will be over now, Doctor. We we'll contact you on further development. So, Mr. Patrick, I want to know the truth. I want to know everything. You know, as well as we do, that whosoever that came here trying to kill you knows you very well. What is it all about? You have a choice, Mr. Patrick. You have a choice. You either tell us the truth so we can hunt the criminals down or you keep it to yourself and die with it. And the records we have, they've missed it twice. And you might not be lucky the third time and you know it. I strongly believe it's Mary that is behind all this. Because she has my child. But the doctor said you lost your entire family in an auto crash that almost got you killed. So what child would that be? It's a long story. Good. Tell us everything. I don't think I can release my patient. As you can see, we are still administering treatment on him. Whoever that is wanting him will certainly come back for him. So we have to move it immediately to save his life. And of course, save the hospital of the embarrassment. I don't know how safe that is. How very safe, trust us. This is a secret strategy. However, doctor, we will bring him back to you. In that case, I'll come every morning to administer treatment on him. But I must warn, should his condition deteriorate, I must bring him back to the hospital. Good! Get me a cup of coffee. All right, boy. I just want to be alive to see my only surviving child. Call me father. Just relax and act indifferent. Oh, I'm 
Patrick, what happened? How are you now? I'm just rushing from the hospital where they told me they discharged you temporarily. Yes. I needed to come home to film my environment. I'll maybe take some exercise and return to the hospital. These are the doctors that are helping me. That's JD. Thank you very much, Joseph. Uh, but I, I hope this works out. Yeah, definitely, we're going to do our best. Uh, so, Mr. Patrick, you take care now. Now, when this is all over, you and I are going for a long vacation, probably to South Africa uh, or wherever. And uh, you need a very, very good change of environment. Please get another cup for my friend. Oh, no, 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 I'm okay. Well, today is a big deal and it's casting up on these days. Take it easy, real easy. Now, let's, let me just use the bathroom. Oh, let's not forget, honey. Yeah? Um, Patrick was temporarily discharged from the hospital today. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, but but I, I, I told him I was supposed to refer him for more advanced treatment abroad. Ha! Paralysis is paralysis. You have to be a god to be able to treat paralysis. But, um, what is he going to be doing at home, at home all alone? No, he's not alone. His um, sister is with him, Anne. Oh! Okay, yeah, I guess that, that's better for him. Yeah, someone will take care of
Mary, you're the person I least expected to see. How come nobody came to us at the door earlier? You must be alone. Uh, no, no, really. I, my sister is in the kitchen. In the kitchen? I don't think so. I just saw her in. Mm. Has she left? Well, in that case, she'll be back very soon. Well, let's hope. Let's hope, Patrick. Uh, Mary, what are you doing here? Have you come to bring Junior back? Bring Junior back? <laughs> you really make me laugh. You want to be happy so that the whole world will turn around and mock me, right? I'm sorry, Patrick, I can't do that. In that case, I'll confront your husband and tell him the truth. Mary, be considerate and bring back my son. He's the only thing I have left. Don't mean you're dead. You must be a cat with nine lives. I hid you with a car, but you survived. I sent someone to kill you, but the fool couldn't do it. Now I must do it myself. Mary, what will you gain if you do that? Only ask for my son, not flesh and blood. Blood? But baby, our little white secret has to be buried forever. If I kill you now, nobody will know our bar. Genius pretend, and I'll be safe with my mind. Nemesis will catch you. <laughs> Until then, maybe when we we'll meet in the world beyond, we either be friends or enemies. But for now, drop the gun. Boy. I have to kill him. He must die! We're under arrest for attempted murder. First degree murder. Conspiracy to commit murder and an accomplice to murder. You have the right to remain silent because whatever you say or do will be used against you as evidence in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. Take her away. No! Officer, I'm telling you, there's no way I will allow you to take this boy away from me. No way is he leaving this house. I'm sorry, Mr. Daniel, but we must go with the child now. The Lord demands that. Look, I want to look at his face. I want to look into his eyes and hear him tell me, my so-called friend, hear him tell me why he's tormenting me like this. I'm sorry, Mr. Daniel. We are still investigating the true paternity of the boy. And since that is still going on, neither you or Patrick will be in possession of the boy. Where will he be? Look here, officer. For nine years, nine good years, this boy called me father. Do you think it's easy? Where was Patrick for nine years? Where was he? It's a pain you will have to deal with. Your wife, the mother of this boy. Confess. Look, I don't care what that disgrace of a woman said. I am not letting this boy go. He's not leaving this house, and I'm ready to spill my blood for that. Sergeant, move this boy. I'm warning you. I'm warning you. Leave this boy. Leave him. Look. Officer, I'm telling you. Look. 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 Yeah. 
Tanya, it's a good thing you have attended me on the case. No, but, but, but how could he have been so mean and seamless? I mean, Patrick, your friend? There are people like that. I tried to use the nine years factor against him in court, but he did not hold water. Barrister. I'm afraid of. Of what? I'm afraid of the DNA test. Come on. I don't know you to be a weakling. You have to fight this cause to the end. It's not going to be easy, but we must fight it. Barrister. I love Junior. I love him so much. I don't want to miss him. I wonder where he is now. According to the law, you're not supposed to know where he is. For fear that you might take him and run away. No! I can never do such a thing. I'm not that kind of person. I'm just wondering where he is. He's fine. They are taking good care of him. I'll leave you now to rest. But remember, next week the result of the DNA test will be out. I'll meet you at the hospital. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Cheers. Bye. 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 What is this criminal doing here? It's alright, it's alright. I'm asking you to come with this boy. So that we all will witness the result of the genetic test. First time from the doctor. Officer, he has no right whatsoever to be here. He should be locked away and made to suffer for destroying my family. Let me give you! It's yours! Your family is safe, Daniel. Mary was mine before you set your eyes on her, remember? She was and still is the woman of my dreams. Years back in school, I loved and cherished this girl, dreaming and praying of spending the rest of my life with her. And from nowhere, you, my so-called friend, took her away from me just because you had money and I was a nobody. But you are a sick man. And you need help. But the only help you are going to get is a free ticket to hell. And I will make sure you get it. All of us will die one day, old friend. <laughs> How sweet this revenge is. Taking back my child. The child that you loved so much. The child you erroneously thought was your child. The child that Mary gave to me after carrying my pregnancy. The pregnancy you could not give her because you were not man enough. I win, Daniel. Just like I had dreamt of. Are all concerned with the paternity of the said child president? Uh, yes, Doctor. And if you're through with the result, I would love to pronounce the proper of his presence. I will also need a copy of the results to present at the headquarters. Well, from statements available to us and uh, certain pronounced claims, and of course putting uh, recorded data into consideration, we came up with one major finding, which is a fact, judging by the time the mother said she took it. And uh, doctor, what exactly are you talking about? Uh, the dates were all wrong. The time Mary claimed or thought she took in wasn't right. She must have taken him some two weeks back without knowing it. Wait a minute, doctor. Let me know. Are you saying that 
Mary was two weeks pregnant before she slept with this. This man. Exactly. From the genetic text. And of course, the blood text conducted. I'm afraid, Mr. Patrick, you are not the father of the child. What? There's no way you could have been. Look, it can be. Look, I, I will contest this test. Mr. Daniels, we have an extremely close relativity between you and the child. It is certain that you are the father of the child. Congratulations. <laughs> You were the first who ever brought me out Showed me what life and love was all about You gave me things that I never need You're in my thoughts, my every dream I found joy in your touch I says the way you made me blush Life is cruel, now that you're gone, I love you so, I can't let go, yeah. Not over you yet, not trying to forget the way that you love me. Not over you yet, not trying to forget the way that you love me. Hate you so much you've done to me Made me fall in love with me You gotta move on Move on my life But it's so hard when you're still on my mind I've hung your in your time I Everyone is probably coming from like this. Crazy for you. You see? Your mom is not likely to come on soon. But don't worry, don't worry. I'll take care of you. I'll take very, very good care of you, okay? Nothing's gonna to happen to you, huh? No, I want my mom to come home. Not only you yet, not trying to forget the way that you love me. Congratulations, my friend. Oh, my sister. How are you? I'm happy I'm rising up this one. Yeah. Junior, how are you? Good. Well, I must thank you for all your assistance in getting my son back. I'm happy you chose to fight for your son. For Junior. You will have lost him, you know. Yeah, Junior. Yeah. Well, I thank God for the strength. Thank God for the strength. Barrister. Junior has been asking some questions. Um, and sometimes it really bothers him. About what? He wants his mommy to come back home. I'm sure you have to let him know his mom is not going to be around for a while or anymore. I hear Patrick has dropped the charges against Mary. Yes, he did. Barrister, I want you to get my wife back home to me. Go for her bail, court charges, 
court fines or whatever it is. I just want her back home. Are you insane? That woman humiliated your image and disgraced your marriage. Well, she 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 was under pressure from my family, and uh, she was she was deceived by somebody, somebody I call a family friend, my best friend, barrister. I loved Mary once. And I'm sure I can still find that love again. No one understands her as much as I do. I have forgiven her in my heart. And besides, Junior needs his mommy. Do you really need her this much? To air is human. And to forgive is divine. Do that for me. Sometimes we make each other cry. Sometimes we're locked inside the prisons of our pride sometimes we break each other's heart with the words we say let anger get in the way too many times but always after all oh, oh. Love is all that matters After everything One thing remains the same One thing we cannot change oh, We all have one heart And one heart needs another. Love, love is all that matters. Love is all that matters. It matters after all. Sometimes we search this world for gold When all we really need is just a hand to hold Sometimes we let the greatest treasure just slip away With the words we forget to say too many times, but always after all. Oh, oh, oh. Love is all that matters. Oh, oh. After everything, one thing remains the same. One thing we cannot share. We, we all have one heart. And one heart needs another. Love, love is all that matters. Love is all that matters. It matters after all. After all that we've been through, it comes down to one simple truth. You need me, I need you. Love is all that matters. 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 It matters after all. The only thing that matters, it matters. Everything.